What up, stackers? Big Stack McGee here. How are you doing today? It is Saturday, September 18th, and it's a beautiful sunny autumn day and a great opportunity to unbox some silver. You may have noticed that silver spot price has been trending downwards, and so I have been buying. Um, I bought this piece uh, from a bullion dealer um, earlier this week. I'd say it was uh, five days ago, and good, fast, free shipping. Um, so... I believe this is an order that I got from Appmex, something I've been looking for for a while. And then, of course, um, just yesterday, silver shot down again, twenty-two fifty, something like that. And so I bought again, and I got a really nice big piece. I'll tell you more about that uh, later. But first of all, last weekend I did not make a video. I left a poll up online. Um, the whole spiel was uh, once a year... Uh, my high school buddies and I go up to a cabin up north and uh, <laughs> reminisce, sit around the campfire, go on the lake, and uh, tell stories and call each other names. And it's just uh, it's just like we're kids again. It's a lot of fun. But anyway, I put a poll up on uh, my community uh, tab there and um, just talking about how I'm going to be reminiscing with my old buddies. And I left a poll and it said, which of these happened while I was in high school? Number one, the back door to a bus slammed and severed a kid's finger off. 2% of the people voted for that. Kid has pants and underwear pulled down at a full school assembly. 9% voted for that. Kid fell asleep in study hall, wakes to find everyone had gone home and school is over. 9% voted for that. Kid loses front teeth when mom tows him on skateboard behind car. Nobody voted for that. And then, then I had all of the above, and 80% of you voted for that. And you are correct. All of those things happened. Uh, to people while I was in high school. None of those things happened to me directly, but uh, <laughs> it's, uh, just a little bit of an explanation, I guess. Um, I was at a marching band competition back in the day, and uh, all kinds of buses around, and they were waiting for the award ceremony, and uh, people hanging out at the back of a bus, and the, <laughs> the bus door slams and severs a kid's finger off. Uh, not from my school, but it happened when I was there, and we saw all the commotion. Crazy time. Um, next, kid had his pants and underwear pulled down at full school assembly. Yes, this was my senior year, homecoming. Um, we had, it was one of those things where uh, we were having a school auction, like the, the student body could auction off for one of the, you know, popular kids or whatever to carry their books around or do whatever for a day. And one of the kids that were up there, he had been uh, drinking during the school day, him and his buddies. No, no, shouldn't be doing that at school. But, uh, one of his other friends ran up behind him. We were all out. Uh, outside uh, school track, and you know you got the the all the bleachers and stuff like that. The whole school is sitting on the bleachers, and a kid runs up behind him to yank his shorts down. And boxers came with, and there he is, standing loud and proud in front of everybody. All right, next, kids fall asleep in study hall, wake to find everyone gone home. That indeed happened. Um, last hour of the day, study hall in a, like a school theater, and uh, lights were low anyway. Kid in the front row fell asleep. Teacher left. And the kid uh, woke up after 4 o'clock after when I already left. All right, and then kid loses front teeth when mom toes him behind a car on the skateboard. That happened as well. In fact, that happened to one of my best friends in the world. Um, he begged his mom to, to try to recreate the scene from uh, Back to the Future, you know, where Marty McFly goes behind the Jeep, and uh, he slipped and fell and uh, shattered his front teeth. <laughs> so anyway, all those things happen. Those stories come up while I'm at uh, this this uh, shindig with my buddies. But it was a great time, very rejuvenating, and uh, another another year gone by. So, all right, back to the task at hand. Uh, I do have the silver to unbox. Pretty happy to get this. Uh, this is a silver bar, and it is new to my stack. So without any further ado, let's rip in and see what we got. Okay, so what I have here, this is a lot smaller than you'd expect it to be, but I have here a 10 troy ounce silver bar. It's 9 fine mint. It's in this nifty little uh, plastic case. I'm assuming you can open this and put it back. Investigate a little bit here. There we go, pop the top. Oh, there we go. There we go, nine fine mint. It's a very squat, 
thick bar. Probably cast. It looks like a cast bar to me. There you go. 10 ounces. So, um, boy, I, I sure love get, collecting silver bars. It's fun for me. And I love this stuff. I love silver that you can handle. And this, this is one of those bizarre things. You know, silver is one of those things where it's like, it doesn't look like it should be as heavy as it is for as small as it is. But I love it. It's very, very cool. And again, very, very squat. Um, if I had to compare this to a bar in my stack, I'd, I have an old school Johnson Matthey 10 ounce silver bar, and it reminds me of that. In fact, I'd like to get those out, put them side by side, because they it seems like it's the same kind of thing deal. The other one that comes to mind is uh, those old 10 ounce Academy bars that are, are also little chunks. They're a little bit taller than this and maybe a little bit less long, but... Yeah, it reminds me of that too. Very, very shiny. So I dig it. And yeah, so silver spot price has been falling. And uh, so I've been buying more than I have in the previous uh, few months. In fact, uh, last night, so Friday, you know, uh, silver fell to mid $22 range. And um, I decided to go on and look for the a cheap kilo silver bar so i got another one of those coming as well now i do shop around at a lot of the different uh, bullion dealers but i'm gonna be honest i think the bullion dealers shops on ebay are one of my favorite places to go and immediately compare um so you know you go on there and i went on ebay and uh right now kilo silver bars can be had for right around 800 dollars, which works out to about uh, 25 dollar silver so a um, couple bucks over spot, and uh, with the, of course, the spot price falling at the current time was had made a situation that I wanted to jump on. So, um, in fact, you sort them out from prices low to high and buy it now, and then you see all the different bullion dealers competing to try to get uh, stuff sold. So, um, everything from uh, Abmax is on there, and of course, Scottsdale, and bullion exchanges and SD bullion and everything else. So I ended up picking up a kilo that is a different kind um, that I do not have in my stack. And in fact, it's something that I've wanted for probably as long as I've been stacking. And it's just I've never found one because it's not from the United States. And I ended up finding one that uh, was right at my price point. So I'm excited to get that in. I won't reveal what that is until uh, when I get that in and unbox that. But uh, So there you have it. Silver bars, I don't know. I've just been on a, I've been hankering for silver bars recently. So, and I know what I've talked to uh, previously that I, I need to do a bar update. So, I think I'll get that bar in and then I think I will figure out how to get that silver bar uh, stack update. That's a lot of silver bars to haul out. And so, and I'm going to do it. Um, it's just uh, I need the time and the opportunity and the space, the private space to be able to do that. In fact, you may have saw that I, this video, um, transfer like I, I did a skip and it's because I'm at work right now and someone came in the door and I aborted mission and so um, I don't like to do these uh, these stacking videos at home and all that kind of business but uh, there you have it I guess that's all I have to say for right now um, thanks for watching Enjoy one more peek at this uh, beautiful squat 999 nine fine mint silver bar all right with this unique little carrying case here. Oh. Who knows if I can get that to stick again. It's like the little, little tab or whatever, but. All right, we're silver for the stack. This is Big Stack McGee, thanks for watching. I hope you're all in the middle of a fantastic weekend. We'll talk to you next week. Have a good one.